source of the hatred that had crucified Jesus. See, God gave to those Jerusalem people the first chance to hear the gospel. So they would now see the effects of the gospel as well as hear the message. Jesus worked uh, through the Holy Spirit uh, Jesus through the Holy Spirit worked with the disciples so that every day there were people turning to Christ for salvation. See, that is the structure Jesus established to bring the good news to the whole world. Giving everyone a chance to hear. Now, you and I are part of that church. What are we doing to carry on Jesus' work? See, what was happening in Jerusalem, what was happening in Jerusalem was wonderful. The courage they received from the Holy Spirit was great. So in, in spite of growing hostility, they kept on preaching the good news about the risen Lord. You see, Jews were being saved every day. But Jesus had told them to go to the whole uh, to the whole earth where Gentiles lived. See, this they were hesitating to do. So Jesus had to give them a little shove. To get them out of the city. So he, he raised up, I think you should have Saul there, not Paul. <coughs> a very energetic, zealous Pharisee to lead a severe persecution against all who were following the new way. <coughs> And the persecution was so severe that Jesus' followers had to flee from the city. But then Luke tells us those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Now, as things uh, developed, and so many people were being added to the church. There needed to be guidelines to handle problems. Uh, 
See, Peter became the principal leader, and he acted as the apostle to the Jews. But Jesus had told them they had to preach this gospel to the Gentiles as well. See, these Jewish Christians had a hard time to turn, uh, to break away from their former scorn of having anything to do with Gentiles. So the Spirit arranged for Peter to go to a Roman centurion named Cornelius. And so Peter went, and while he was explaining uh, the gospel, the Holy Spirit fell on them exactly the same way he had uh, uh, he had on the 120 disciples on the day of Pentecost. 当彼得去到这个罗马人，就是外邦人的这个百夫长，叫做哥尼流家里的时候，他去传福音。他讲到的时候，发现圣灵也降临，圣灵降临，居然也降临到这些外邦人头上，降临的方法跟五旬节啊
被他的宗教领袖煽动了以后，被罗马人钉死在十字架。